So here we're graphing rational functions with holes. So the first thing we need to do is select whether we're gonna have um, horizontal and vertical or whether we're gonna have vertical and oblique or slanted asymptotes. Once you've got that premise, you're gonna plot one point in each piece and then you also are gonna identify where the hole is, okay? So let's go ahead and um, work on that. So first I need to figure out what the vertical asymptote is and that is going to be where the denominator equals zero. And then since the degree of the numerator is two and the degree of the denominator is one, this is bigger than by one, so I have to do long division. So that goes into there x, and then x times x is x squared, x times negative five is negative five x. Change the signs. These go away, this becomes negative 3x plus 15, I get negative 3, negative 3x plus 15, um, this becomes positive, this becomes negative, I actually get remainder 0, but it doesn't matter what the remainder is. The slant asymptote is going to be y equals x minus 3. So when you click on, I gotta know, um, I'm going to have to click on this button because I did get a slant asymptote. So the first thing it's gonna make you plot is the vertical one. So make sure you put it over there at one, two, three, four, five. Then it's gonna ask you for two points to plot um, this, this asymptote. So you need um, one, two, three, and then up one and actually, yeah, up one and over one. And so your line will look a little bit like that. Well, it should be straight, but mine's a little crooked. Then you will, um, actually reduce this to figure out where the hole is at. So if I take that and I factor the top, I get X minus three and X minus five over X minus five, which means I get X minus three. So to be honest, the graph is not going to have any asymptotes because I should have done this first. You cannot do asymptotes unless your function is already simplified in its lowest terms. So I actually should have done this first, okay? I should have taken my function and reduced it first. Then once I do that, I can graph this with a hole where x equals 5, where the that factor will equal zero. That's where the hole's at, okay? So because this is what I end up with for my graph, I just needed to graph that particular line, a solid line, and then I'm only going to put a hole where x equals five. So then I would grab that button and put the hole where x equals five. So I did not need to use this at all for this particular problem. And that was my mistake for originally doing that that way. So I did not need to do any of these steps whatsoever. The only thing I needed to do was simplify my function first. Okay. So you take your function f of x, you factor it. If it has factors in common, you cancel them, and then you just understand that you're only graphing this with the hole where the canceled factor equals zero, okay? Um, and so then this is my answer. It's just this line. So I would select this, mark the two points, y-intercept negative three, up one over one, and then put the hole over there where x equals five. So similarly, I'm going to do the same thing for this problem. I'm going to factor out a 3. I'm going to factor the denominator. So this is going to fact cancel, which means I end up with this. So I need to graph this, but it's going to have a hole at when this guy is equal to 0, so when x equals negative 5. 
okay? So then when I graph that, this is a fraction. So I do have to do the vertical asymptote. And that's when this thing equals zero. I do have to do the horizontal asymptote. The degree of the numerator is zero. Degree of the denominator is one. So it's automatically at y equals zero. And then that means I'm going to be selecting this icon that has a vertical and a horizontal. So I'm going to put the vertical asymptote at negative three. I'm going to put the horizontal asymptote at zero. And then I need two points in each piece. So if I make a table, I have to do negative four, negative five. So I have two points on this side. And then maybe negative two and negative one for two points on the other side. And I do not have to plug them into the original. I need to plug them into the simplified version, okay? So negative four, that's gonna be negative three. That's gonna be negative 1.5. That's gonna be um, three, and that's gonna be 1.5. So then negative four and negative three, negative five and negative 1.5. And then negative two and positive three, and then negative one and 1.5. And so then if you do all of that, it will graph the function for you. Okay. But then you still have to remember to place the hole. Okay. So the hole should be when x is equal to negative five. So I'm going to grab the little hole icon, this little icon. And I'm going to put it right there where x is equal to negative 5, and it touches the graph. Okay? So you'd graph the whole thing. First reduce it. Graph the reduced function. That's the one you use for the vertical asymptotes, for the horizontal asymptotes, for the chart. You completely graph this. But at the end, don't forget to mark the hole where it should be. Okay? Let's do one more. So if I simplify this one, this will cancel. So my vertical asymptote will be where that equals zero, which means x equals one. Horizontal asymptote will be at y equals zero. Why? Because the numerator exponent is zero and the denominator exponent is one. When the top is smaller, it's automatically at zero. And then I have to make a chart. So two values to the left of one and then two values to the right of one. And I gotta plug them in there. So I'm gonna get two um, and then I'm gonna get one, negative two, negative one. So then I graph. I'm gonna click this icon because I have a vertical and a horizontal. So my vertical is at one my horizontal is at zero. I have zero and two, negative one and one, two and negative two, three and negative one. And so then if you hit the graphing or if you just finish clicking these, it'll automatically draw it for you. But you have to remember to put the hole. Where's the hole? Hole is where this thing equals zero which is gonna be at x equals three. So then I'm gonna go one, two, three, and right here where it touches the graph, that's where I'm gonna put the hole. And now that graph 